you know, that just looks so simple. That looks like a clean structure. The truth is the market doesn't have to be messy. That's just as messy as you make it. And you've got to remember, I've been training for years. So I've, I've done all of the strategies. I've been around within the markets and I've found that keeping things simple helped me to capitalize on bigger positions. Hey guys, Mark here, welcome to the channel. So this is our first ever episode for YouTube. So we've been meaning to do YouTube for a couple of years now, and I wanna give you a little bit of an insight into why we started the channel, what you can expect. So I started the Falcon Project nearly two years ago now, so the 12th of February will be our two year anniversary. And so much has happened since then, so much documentation. I wish we started it back then to just give you guys and girls more of an insight of that process. We have so many exciting things coming. We thought that we would start now and we're going to give you more of an insight into our community, how we look at the charts, our simplistic, new, unique approach to trading and just so much more. You're gonna learn about our community and we just wanna take you through that process, take you through the process of meeting our members and why we do things the way that we do them. I know you're gonna love a lot of things that we talk about and we just wanna be as transparent as possible and just inspire. So if you have any ideas, whether it be goal setting mindset or trading related, always feel free to pop suggestions below, but we're gonna be creating that content anyway, especially things like goal setting and trading. Speaking of trading, of course, as I mentioned, we trade completely different to the majority of the markets. We don't use things like indicators or anything like that. We focus on clean price structure, pattern identification, and just the overall just market structure and nature of how the market really works. As you can see from the charts right now, you've just got a bit of an insight, very clean structures that we focus on. So myself, I'm 27 years old and I've been in trading for nearly 10 years now. I originally started off with stocks and that was when I was 18 years old and I took my first course in London. And just over the time, I transitioned into Forex after about a year and just learned so many things, you know, I learned about all the different types of strategies. And what I found over that, you know, vast period, I, I made a lot of mistakes, I'd done well a lot of the times, but again, I always felt like there was something missing, something that left me feeling a little bit gray, essentially. There was too many gray areas. And after trial and error, trial and error, I then found a more simplistic way that I just started to really, of my own stubbornness, started to remove indicators, remove everything, because I felt like it was holding me back. There was something that just wasn't working for me, but something that I've incorporated from day one is patterns. That's always been within my trading, no matter where I've gone within the trading space. But what I found is that there is a unique way that we can look at patterns. If you look at patterns in their most simplest form, they're really good, of course, they show us the way the market's moving. But again, there's lots of variables that we can touch on there. And within Falcon, we focus on a couple of things called the probable and the possible. So Falcon community, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But what I wanna do here is actually show you an insight into why we look at the markets that way and just offer some free content and guidance. I know so many of you out there right now, they're looking into Forex, you might be looking into the first time or you've been in trading for a while and you might be thinking, do you know what is actually possible? Can I really do this? Well, what you're going to see is how flexible it can actually be when you know what you're doing, when you plan appropriately, when you stick to risk management and that you focus on the simplistic part of it, but it all comes down to preparation. So I'm really excited to get into it. What I actually wanna do, because it's, it's pretty relevant to the current market conditions that we're in. Speaking of patterns, we've been focusing on a particular pair at the moment, which is USD CAD, Falcon Community, you'll know exactly where I'm going with this. And the way we was able to capitalize on this position is that it was forecasted months and months in advance, sometimes weeks in advance as well when we get closer to the structures. But we're able to really see what's happening within the market by looking at patterns again in that totally unique way. So what I wanna do actually is just a quick screen share just to give you an introduction to what I'm talking about with the unique style of trading and I hope you take some value from it and it will just give you a bit of perspective of your own trial. So let's dive into that now. Right guys, so I just wanna give you a bit of an insight into how we look at the market. So this is a typical Falcon chart, as you can see, very simplistic. So whether you're new to trading or you've been in trading for a while, especially if you've been in trading for a while, you'll see this might look a little bit different to your own current charts because we focus on the simplicity of the clean market structure. And having that clean structure is super important. So we're not going to be going too into depth of strategy today or anything like that, but we just wanna show you why we focus on patterns. So within our type of structures that we look at, this structure here, we just wanna look at USD CAD at the moment. There's a big reason why we've been forecasting these sell-offs 
from around these areas because we've been replicating these structures. Now, if you have too many kind of indicators, support, resistance, etc., sometimes it clutters the chart and it holds your trades back. So when we're looking at patterns, patterns have different variations. Now, you can't learn them in a day, but what I would highly suggest, however you're trading right now, is to actually focus on patterns and how they change and the variations that they do have. So let's say, for example, if we're looking at a move, one little tip that you can do is this. If we're looking at this structure as a particular continuation, here is a big impulse, here's a correction, that's a continuation pattern, move to the downside. We're looking at this in the same light. So then naturally, at the top of these structures, we're looking for selling types of opportunities. Now there's one thing picking direction. I mean, we could pick direction from here. This is what we've done in our earlier days of Falcon, this particular move. But then what about the variations within it to capitalize? There are percentages in place in which that will give us an insight into how long it will take or what's the percentage of a particular pattern playing out. Those are the variations. And we have to look into those in a little bit more detail. But a quick tip for however you're trading, if you're wondering how to study price, all you need to do on TradingView is, and if you haven't got TradingView, it's something you can go and download. You can get the free version as well. You head over to the tools pattern here. And as you can see, we've got in this section here, you have your long and your short tools. But right down here is something called bars pattern. So if I click bars pattern, and I take, let's say for example, click anywhere to here, click your first point and then your end point like this. I can then drag that bit of price and then replicate it to where I think it may go. So then if I'm looking at something that's similar to a particular structure, that gives me a good idea to how it could behave, what are the variations within it. So just a quick little tip. And if we look at something a little bit closer, we can utilize that same thing I've got mine here in the toolbar that I favorited. So let's say I'm looking at just this impulse correction, this continuation pattern here. I can click from here to here. I can say, well, this is a type of structure. And then I can place it here. It's not going to be exact, but then we can zoom in and we get a very good idea of how that can behave. So a move down, a correction, and a continuation, which is why we're in this trade at the moment. A lot of people in the community got this one. We actually got this at the Birmingham meetup, this particular trade. Seems like every meetup we do, by the way, USD CAD is always the one that takes off. So we can actually take this one step further and go to the bars pattern again. And we can go from here and go to the, the aftermath of this, which would be about here. And then have an idea if we've got a similar type of position, what would we expect? So you see how we have the move down, the correction, the move down. What do we have here? The move down, the correction, the move down. Now that's giving you direction, that's one thing. Understanding the variations within here, that's different. That's where you get strategy. Direction, lots of people can pick direction, but being able to capitalize on a move, that's very, very different. As we work our way down, our structures, they still remain clean, and there's lots of variations that we teach in Falcon, of course, how to actually get involved in those, how to protect yourself from, how to remove risk so you're not constantly being tagged out of trades. There's certain measures that you can put in place to make sure that you do that. So this trade currently is running at 5.4. To the low, we have 6.5, and we'll see how it reacts. There's going to be certain things that we look at from our strategy, which you can't learn in a day or anything like that. Certain types of signals of structures that we look at to know that, is this a good time to bank, let's say, 12% profit, or are we going to hold the position? Because these structures, although this one looks similar and you can see the big sell-off, we're expecting a big sell-off, but at the same time, there are variations within these and patterns can change. So you just need to know how to take a message from the market. But this is more so just to show you what our charts actually look like. And you might be thinking, that just looks so simple. That looks like a clean structure. The truth is the market doesn't have to be messy. That's just as messy as you make it. And you've got to remember, I've been training for years. So I've, I've done all of the strategies. I've been around within the markets. And I've found that keeping things simple helped me to capitalize on bigger positions. So it's not that other things didn't work. And if I was trading other types of strategies that they didn't work, it's just what I always felt like is that, that they would hold me back a little bit. And I would see trades that I would get into some, to some good positions and they would bank me, let's say, four or five percent. And then I would look back and that trade would go on to make like 15 or 20 percent. I think, how, do, how could I get involved in that? What's stopping me? Why do I have these barriers in my mind? Because I would see something that I thought, oh, it's, it's clearly going to stop there. Let's say, for example, this part here. If you had this kind of let's actually take it one step further. If you had, let's say, support in here because you thought this was kind of some sort of significant level or something like that. If you were selling this on the way down, there's no way you're holding through here. There's no way you would just stop. You would cut the trade. 
but by understanding the way we look at the markets, there was a 90% probability that we knew we would get to this low. So what does that do for us is it helps us to capitalize on bigger trades, which it goes back to what I was talking about, that consistency actually comes, in my opinion, in your wins and not your losses. Losses are inevitable. It doesn't matter how good you are, you'll still take losses. I take losses. This week, I actually took four losses in a row, which I haven't actually taken that many losses in a row in a, in a very long time. But it's you. no one knows the sequence, right? It's not about you know taking losses. I can take four losses in a month, but generally it would be a loss, a win, 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 break even, then a win, then maybe another loss. But it just so happens, sometimes the market can give you different cycles and that's normal. But the truth is, we've banked so much from this move down. Do those losses matter? Not at all. And that's a good thing because you want to take this pressure off of your shoulders that you need to have this kind of perfect strike rate. You want to have a high strike rate, but realize that it's not the losses that will hold your back. It's you not understanding how to fully capitalize on trades what will hold you back. It always does for everybody. And you know, we see the same thing over and over again when people come into Falcon, their mind's blown, and then they see what is actually possible in the markets. But what I would highly recommend, whatever strategy you're trading right now, even just to help you with your current one, is to focus on more planning. Look left as just a simple, simple trick, and actually look at how did that previous structure behave. And that normally gives you an insight into how to deal with the market conditions moving forward. But planning is always key, especially if you're starting out as a new trader. So I hope that's given you just a bit of an insight. Of course, we can't go into strategy today as you know that takes a longer time to learn that. But always going with the mindset that you are enjoying the process and you're willing to be in it for the long game because those are the ones that win. Remember, the trader that goes in with the mindset that is willing to spend five years to make it happen because they truly want to achieve financial freedom is normally the person that makes it happen within six months to 12 months. It's the person that goes in that wants it to happen in three months, six months, those are the ones that are just still chopping around and they still haven't made it happen in five to 10 years. And I know that because I was that person for a good four years. So guys, go with the right mindset. And if you're serious about it, treat it like a business and you'll make it happen. So I hope you enjoyed that insight into how that we look at the markets. I'm sure a lot of you have had your mind blown a little bit and you can kind of see where you've might been, you might've been holding yourself back before. And it just really all does come down to simplicity. When you start stripping things back, you start to realize what the market's actually doing. And sometimes we have these kind of imaginary barriers in our mind that holds us back from capitalizing on full trades. What you're going to learn, which we're going to do another video on, is that consistency actually comes in your wins, not your losses. Losses are inevitable. Doesn't matter how good you are, how good of a trader you are, you will always have losses. But your ability to capitalize on the trades fully when you fully understand pattern identification and the variations that the market brings, that is when your skill set improve so i hope you took a lot of value from that you took some notes to apply to your own trading and just to let you know what's coming up well we actually just had yesterday our birmingham meetup so our first official meetup in 2019 it was just incredible we had about 60 to 70 people in the community come to this one it was our biggest meetup to date and it was just incredible to hear people's stories every single time i come to one of these meetups there's always at least three to four sometimes more people that have just quit their jobs from falcon and we literally just had Caesar. Caesar's actually from Miami, so he couldn't be at this meetup. He just quit his job and he's been in Falcon from the very beginning. And he's going full time trading at the start of February. So, congratulations to Caesar. We all gave him a round of applause, of course. And it's really important to us that we celebrate everybody's success because that's what you need within this space. You know, it can be a very, very lonely journey, as you might even be feeling lonely yourself if you've just got involved in trading. Having people around you that not just tell you what you want to hear they tell you what you need to hear they tell you that you need to put the work in because it isn't a get rich quick guys to make this happen you really need to put the work in and to judge yourself over a two month three month period six months even a year you'd be doing yourself a disservice from the rewards that you can reap once you put in the work so have the right work ethic going with the right mindset and i know that i know this channel is going to just provide tons of value for you so stay tuned and you'll get an insight into our community on our next episode